The Battlefront Network, giving you your daily dose of Battlefront content. Hello everyone and welcome, my name is Tom and you're watching The Battlefront Network today, thank you for tuning in. We've finally seen some Star Wars Battlefront gameplay, yes! And that is the Walker Assault game mode on Hoth, as well as some of the co-op survival mission on Tatooine. And they both look fantastic! And if you want to see any of our videos on them, the links are in the description below. Today we'll be going over everything we know so far about the game, and all the news released following E3 2015. So, here we go. The game will be released on November 17th for North America, November 19th for Europe, and November 20th for the United Kingdom. The game will be available on the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. It will also be available in two editions, the Standard Edition and the Deluxe Edition. Now, the Deluxe Edition comes with the following content. Han Solo's DL-44 Blaster, Ion Grenade, Ion Torpedo, and Ion Shock Emote and Victory Emote. Those two emotes are exclusive to this edition. And it also comes with a very, very nice cover art. The first DLC for the game will be free for all players, and it's called The Battle of Jakku. It will be released on, Dece on December 8th. But if you pre-order any of the editions of the game, you will receive early access to the DLC on December 1st. The game will focus solely on the Galactic Civil War, and then the sequel era as well, with the release of the first DLC, making that two eras that are focused on from the game. The game is set to run at 60 FPS on all platforms, but it was confirmed that the PlayStation 4 will be the lead platform for now. You can play split screen with a friend on console platforms. The playable planets in the game include Hoth, which will have areas such as the Rebel Base, the Ice Caves and Snowy Plains, the Forest Moon of Endor, Tatooine, Sullust, and Jakku, which will of course be part of the first DLC. There will be 12 playable multiplayer maps in the main game, and two more will be added with the free DLC, making that number 14 in total. The modes and features in the game include Battlefront Missions, which can be played offline on your own or with a friend via split screen or online via multiplayer. This mode replaces a traditional campaign. The missions that can be played are Survival, Battles, Hero Battles and Trials. Now, Survival entails fighting alone or with a friend against 15 waves of enemies ranging from both infantry and vehicles. And of course we saw a snippet of that of some gameplay on Tatooine. In Battles, you go head to head with a friend supported by armies of AI. Now, that sounds to me like instant action, and you can watch our video on that by using the link in the description below. Hero Battles allows you to face off as iconic characters such as Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader. The Trials missions has not yet been explained. The multiplayer game modes include Walker Assault, Fighter Squadron, Cargo, Drop Zone, and Supremacy. Walker Assault is epic 40 player battles playing as a rebel to destroy the Empire's onslaught of 8080s by calling in Y Wing bombers. Or you can side with the Empire and protect your walkers while utilising their mighty weaponry to crush the rebel objective. You can see how it plays out by watching our game mode specific video using the link in the description below. Fighter Squadron is a game mode that involves just starfighters engaging in huge intense battles. We've been shown a few videos of aerial dogfights and they look amazing, so I don't know about you, but I am really looking forward to playing Fighter Squadron. The other game modes have not yet actually been explained, as they've only just been re revealed. Now, the game mechanics work like this. The weapons in the game do not have ammo, they overheat instead. Once a weapon overheats, it must be cooled down to be used again. The health bar regenerates after a few seconds instead of having to pick up back to tanks like in the previous Battlefront games. There will be no iron sights, but you can still aim down scopes, as shown in the Hoth gameplay. You can switch between third person and first person at any time. It looks like you'll be able to change the side you play your character from in third person, depending on whether you are right or left side orientated, and this can be seen in the co-op missions gameplay. Interchangeable star cards allow you to customise your loadout. The cards that we've been shown so far, and that we can recognise, are Personal Shield, Jetpack and Thermal Detonator. 
you are allowed three star cards at any one time. There are many more star cards to be revealed. There is also a slot for power-ups, which can only be picked up on the map. The power-ups that we know of so far include a bubble shield, a smart rocket, thermal imploder, and all the vehicles for Walker Assault game mode. We are not yet sure whether the vehicles will be power-ups across the rest of the game. You have the ability to melee enemies. It appears to be a one-hit kill for melee in the cooperative missions. We haven't had word on whether this is the case for multiplayer. Your radar only shows the directions of the enemies around you, the position of your teammates and the position of your partner or buddy. You can see the emotes in action in the cooperative missions gameplay and you can see the rebel clapping in their hands. The playable vehicles in the game include the ATST, AT-80s. Now the AT-80s are on rails, meaning that you can't actually control the full movement of the vehicle, but you can control the movement of the head and the firing of the weapons. So of course that still makes it playable. You can drive speeder bikes, pilot snow speeders, X-wings, TIE fighters, and the Millennium Falcon. Now, Y-Wings and TIE Interceptors have been seen, but there's been no word on whether they are also playable vehicles. I hope they are, some point in the game's life cycle, but of course we'll have to wait for more news on that. The weapons that are available to use in the game that we know of so far are as follows. Han Solo's DL-44 Blaster, Boba Fett's EE-3 Carbine Rifle, Sniper Rifles, a Smart Rocket, Thermal Detonators, Thermal Imploders, Ion Grenades, Ion Torpedoes, Grenade Launchers, E-11 Carbines, A-280 Blaster Rifles, and DH-17 Blaster Pistols. Now, the playable heroes and villains that we know of so far are as follows. Darth Vader, who uses Heavy Sweep, which takes out multiple enemies. He can do Force Choke, which of course we've seen in the gameplay, and Saber Throw. And we can also play as Boba Fett, now, of course, he doesn't use, he hasn't got any force powers, but he has a wide set of weaponry. And we can use his EE3 carbine rifle, his wrist rocket, wrist flamethrower, and of course his jetpack. And then we have Luke Skywalker, who again can use heavy sweep, but this time can use saber rush, which is a quick attack that lets you propel yourself forward, and then also force push. And we've seen force push in action in the gameplay, and it looks really powerful, and I'm really looking forward to using that. The playable races include Human, Solustan, Ishitib, Rodian, and Quarren. So they are all the details we know so far about the game. Of course, lots more information will be coming out very soon and throughout the rest of the year up until release, so stay tuned for that. But we couldn't leave out the extra information we found just for you guys, so here we go. Star Wars Battlefront had an 857% increase in pre-orders on Amazon following the gameplay reveal at E3 2015 on June 15th. And it was the second biggest pre-order uplift following the event, coming in behind Forza Motorsport 6. Now, a few months ago, Electronic Arts did mention it helps it hopes to sell between 9 to 10 million copies of Battlefront. And considering we just got the information that it had such a huge surge in pre-orders, it only seemed appropriate to mention this information, as Electronic Arts seems to have really high hopes for the game, and if they hit this target, it, they may even well do a sequel to the game, so that'd be awesome. So, the Chief Financial Officer Blake Jorgensen said, We certainly hope we can leverage a lot of the hype. We're thinking about Battlefront sales projections as two bookends. One bookend is the historical Battlefront, which did roughly 9 million units. The other bookend is our first-person shooter franchise, Battlefield, which typically does around 50 million units. We've put in there roughly 9 to 10 million units for the title, which we believe is the upside if things go well. It is Gen 4 only and PC. So that needs to be factored into people's thinking. So of course he's saying there that you know it's the game's only available on Xbox One, PC, and PS4. So all those who don't have that those platforms, of course, won't be able to play the game unless they buy that. So a lot of people won't be able to play play the game straight away. Uh, so of course that will affect the sales because uh, they won't be able to buy the game until they get a console, unless they buy the game before that. And uh, you know they're setting that target there and if things go well and they meet that then I'm pretty sure they're going to be doing a sequel to the game because it was mentioned that uh, EA has a cycle and they are planning to do um, a Battlefront game uh, every two years or so or something like that uh, with Titanfall and other games. So that's awesome and I would love to see, well even the, the game hasn't even been revealed yet, well released yet and uh, we're already thinking about a sequel uh, but you know they could, they could actually focus on bigger features this time in a sequel, uh, space battles even but that's 
that's far away into the future, so maybe we won't mention that just yet. Not only were we given some details about the game and of course some extra information how DICE uh, is trying to capture the Star Wars universe by the, the detail adding it in the game, make it like a really awesome Star Wars experience, we were given some awesome looking images of the game. And you can see this on your screens now. And they look absolutely fantastic and I cannot wait to play this game. And of course we got the Hoth gameplay showing the Walker Assault game mode. We got some gameplay showing the co-op mission survival uh, type mode on Tatooine. And we were also provided with some short, very short, PC gameplay of uh, Tatooine and of course the Walker Assault game mode on Hoth. That looks awesome. I will be getting this game on PC, so all of you PC awesome, cool people out there who are going to get it on PC as well, you can join me. I'm really excited for this game. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. What are you most looking forward to? Either that be playing as Darth Vader, Luke Skywalker, Boba Fett, playing the Walker Assault game mode, the Fighter Squadron. Let me know what you think, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Stay tuned. I've been Tom. Goodbye. Goodbye.